So let's have a quick look around Mari's interface now. It can be a bit overwhelming when you first open it, but it's a good idea to learn where toolbars and buttons that you're gonna need are. Obviously the first thing that you're gonna notice is the viewport. You can move around your model here. Uh, it's worth knowing as well that under preferences navigation, you can change your movement shortcuts so, so that it's the same as another piece of 3D software. Um, I've changed mine here to Maya because that's the piece of software that I use the most on a daily basis, so I know the shortcuts. So along the top here, you can see that we've got these different tabs and you can change from orthographic to UV and we've also got perspective. Some views are better for painting certain things, especially, for example, if your UVs are set up in a sensible way, then painting in a flat UV view can be really handy. Next, we'll take a quick look at the palettes. So in the newer versions of Mari, you have this new dock with all your palettes for easy access. So you can click on them and pin them using this button here to keep them there, or you can pull them out and dock them in your viewport. So we'll go inside some of these in other videos in this series. So for now, let's just move on. At the bottom, we have the view transform. By clicking this button, you can enable or disable it, disabling whichever LUTs you currently have activated. If you're coming from an older version of Mari, you might wonder where some of your favorite tools are. If you click and hold, you can find them docked inside of each other now. Underneath that, we have the two paint colors that you have selected and you can change them by pressing X on the keyboard. That's a handy little shortcut I use all the time. Some other useful buttons worth mentioning are the ones below this. First is the current selection mode. I have it set to patch at the moment, but that can be changed here. Then we have the current view. You can view the whole shader or just the current layer or the channel. Also, we can change the shading view if you want. You can set it to flat, basic or full. We also have a button underneath that to clear out our paint buffer and reset its transforms. Something we'll go into a little bit later on. Along the top, we have our tool properties. This is a contextual menu which changes depending on the tool you currently have selected. If I change to the paintbrush, you will see now that I can change the things like radius or flow from up here. That was a brief look at Mari's UI. Next up, we're gonna talk about projects. Thanks for watching this video.